Today's topic is Rubisco. Rubisco is a pacemaker enzyme of the Kelvin cycle. Hi, I am Manti. Today I will discuss about this Rubisco. The full form of Rubisco is Ribulose 1,5 bisphosphate carboxylase oxygenase. It is very abundant representing up to 40% of the total soluble protein of most of the leaves. The activity of Rubisco is also regulated by light and the enzyme itself does not respond to theoredoxin. Next about its structure. It is a three-dimensional structure and it is found in photosynthetic bacteria and it is a photosynthetic enzyme and it is appeared and established in the ER in evolution and is very close to that which is found in photosynthetic bacteria. Thus the quaternary structure of both of these rubisco has the same standard that is 8 small and large subunit. Large subunit are encoded by the chloroplast genome whereas smaller subunits are encoded by nuclear genome. It makes up about 50% soluble protein in chloroplast whereas it is the most abundant protein in chloroplast and is also said to be the most abundant protein on this earth. Its activity is regulated by carbon dioxide, oxygen, magnesium and also pH. The optimum pH for Rubisco activity lies around 8. Next, in plants, algae, cyanobacteria and phototropic and chemoautotropic proteobacteria, the enzyme usually consists of two types of protein subunit. It is large subunit, it is denoted as L and is about 55,000 Dalton and second one is small chain, it is denoted as S and it is about 13,000 Dalton. The large chain gene is encoded by the chloroplast DNA in plants. They are typically several related small chain genes in the nucleus of plant cell and the small chains are imported to the stromatal compartment of chloroplast from the cytosol by crossing the outer chloroplast membrane. The enzymatically active substrate binding sites are located in the large chain that form dimer. In this structure, magnesium ions are needed for enzymatic activity. Correct position of magnesium ion in the active side of the enzyme involves addition of an activating carbon dioxide molecule to a lysine in the active side and it forms a carbamate. Whereas magnesium ion operates by driving deproteinization of lysine to 10 residues and it causes the lysine residue to rotate by 120 degree to the transconformer, decreasing the distance between the nitrogen of the lysine and the carbon of the carbon dioxide. The close proximately allows for the formation of a covalent bond and it results in the carbamate. Magnesium ion is the first enable to bind to the active site by the rotation of His-335 to an alternative conformation. Magnesium ion is then coordinated by the His residue of the active site and is partially neutralized by the coordination of the three water molecule and their conversion to hydroxyl ion. This coordination results in an unstable complex but produces a favorable environment for the binding of the magnesium ion. And here formation of the carbamate is favored by an alkaline pH. The pH and the concentration of the magnesium ion in the fluid compartment that is the stromata of the chloroplast increases in the light. The role of changing pH and magnesium ion levels in the regulation of Rubisco enzyme activity and is discussed here. Next, it plays an important role in C3 carbon fixation and photorespiration. In carboxylation phase, carbon dioxide is incorporated into a 5 carbon compound that is ribulose 1,5 bisphosphate and this enzyme here is helpful. 
The product of this region is a 6 carbon intermediate which immediately splits to form a 2 molecule of 3 phosphoglycerin. Now about the different forms of Rubisco. There are 4 known forms of Rubisco found in nature. Form 1, 2, 3 and 4. Each of which is placed in a separate category based on differences in primary sequence of their constituent that is 50 kilodalton polypeptide. In addition, these four different holoenzyme forms are often structurally unique and the fundamental unit is common to all forms of the large subunit dimer. Among all four forms, form 1 is the most common. It is found in eukaryotes and bacteria and is composed of 8 large subunit and 8 small subunit with a 422 symmetry. In form 1, the basic structural motif is the dimer of L and is repeated 4 times in a catalytic code of 8 large subunit with small subunit on top and bottom of this core. The first Rubisco structure was solved from the bacterium Rhodospirum rubrum. This enzyme is simple dimer of large subunit that shares only 25 to 30% of identity of L subunit form of type 1 Rubisco. It is served for many years as the paradigm for the structural function studies of Rubisco and has provided the baseline formation which is required to determine the structure of the more complex form of this enzyme. And the structure of type 2 and type 2 Rubisco closely resembles the structure of the basic dimer of the form 1 Rubisco and has some different in catalytic property. Form 2 is comprises of dimer of L that is ranging from L2 to 8 depending on the source and form 3 is found only in some archaea and is comprises of a dimer of L either as a L2 or L25. Next form 4 which appears thus far always to have an L2 structure and it is a rubisco like protein and is denoted as RLP and is found in some researches that the demonstration that L is definitely the catalytic subunit of the L8S8 enzyme and undergoes catalysis in the absence of a S. The identification of residue that participate in various aspects of the catalytic mechanism which includes carbon dioxide and oxygen specificity and the finding that affected sites are also found on L site. The finding that S affects activity the influences the correct conformation of the catalytic core of L. L is larger subunit, S is smaller subunit and then the verification of the prediction form of X-ray model that substitutes the confirmation change elected by S which can influence important kinetic parameters which includes carbon dioxide and oxygen specificity. Later in some research it is also demonstrated that the residues far from the active site and can influence important catalytic parameter. Finally as indicated it should be the stressed that X-ray structure work established that the active site is formed from the interface between the N-terminal domain of one subunit and the alpha and beta barrel of the C-terminal domain of the second subunit of the dimer which at least two subunit requires to form the complete active site. Next is about the phylogenetic relationship in the Rubisco superfamily. The division of Rubisco into phylogenetically and catalytically distinct structural form 1 and form 2 protein which is lasted for about 20 years. However, the recent explosion of completed genomic sequencing project and it forms diverse organism which led to the finding of additional phylogenetically distinct Rubisco form which includes those form of organism that use alternative to the CBV pathway to fix carbon dioxide.
It is also found that some microorganisms that do not use carbon dioxide as a major carbon source, where it is shown to contain some forms of Rubisco. Thus, by the end of the 20th century, the long-standing classification of Rubisco into form 1 and 2, which is clearly outdated. In particular, many archaea are shown to contain a separate classes of Rubisco, which is termed as form 1. 3. Nowadays, it is noted that, that the green sulfur phototropic bacterium that is chlorobium tepidum and the heterotroph that is bacillus subtilis contain putative rubisco gene that are clearly not the form of 1 and 2 type and is shown to be distinct from 3 as well. These new sequences were found to be in the class of their own and classified as Form 4 Rubisco. It is due to the Form 4 protein was incapable of catalyzing Rubisco 1,5 bisphosphate dependent carbon dioxide fixation. The Form 4 protein was further classified is and are termed as Rubisco like protein to set them apart from the bona fide form of Form 1, 2, and 3 Rubisco. The Rubisco-like protein was unavailable to catalyze carbon dioxide fixation because of key substitution of many essential active site residues. With respect to the function of the RLP, an RLP gene knockout stain of C. tepidium and was shown to exhibit a pleiotropic phenotype which includes the deposition of elemental sulfur into the surrounding media as well as distinct effect on autotropic growth. This was mainly due to the specific effect on thiosulfur oxidation which leads to a general stress response. The stress response in syntepidium was manifested by synthesis of stress related protein which includes a thiol specific hydroperoxidase and superoxide dimutase and results in resistance to high level of hydrogen peroxide as per the theory of Hansen and Tebia in their research in 2003. So in brief Phylogenetic analysis of Rubisco and RLP protein sequence analysis indicates that there are at least three distinct lineages of bona fide Rubisco that is form 1, form 2 and form 3 and six distinct clades of RLP molecule that is form 4. So we can say that many of the RLP genes that encode protein of unknown function and unable genetically to complement stains which knockouts in genes that encode RLP proteins of known function. So this is all about the phylogenetic relationship in the Rubisco family. So we can conclude that Rubisco and its homologue that is Rubisco like protein share an interesting history and undoubtedly present a classic example of divergent evolution. The different forms of Rubisco found in nature some of which must function in very extreme or in, in extreme conditions. So this enzyme catalyzes the first step in photosynthetic carbon dioxide assimilation and photorespiratory carbon oxidation. This enzyme is insufficient as a catalyst for the carboxylation of ribulose 15 bisphosphate and is subject to competitive inhibition by oxygen and inactivation by loss of carbamylation and dead end inhibition by ribulose 15 bisphosphate. So, the excess Rubisco increases for photosynthesis and an obvious target for increasing agricultural productivity. Resolution of X-ray crystal structure and detailed analysis of divergent mutation and hybrid enzyme have increased our insight into the structure, function and relationship of Rubisco. The interactions and associations relatively far from the Rubisco active set and which includes regulatory interaction with Rubisco activase and may present new approaches and strategies for understanding and ultimately providing this enzyme complex. So this is all about Rubisco. Thank you for watching this video.